Van Conversion Build Linear Bearings. So basically in this video I am going to design and build my own linear bearings because I don't want to spend $500 on linear bearings. I'm going to be using these in the van to make uh, basically an elevator bed, motorized bed, but mine's going to be a little bit different. There's going to be no motor. It's going to use kinetic energy, but that is for another video. This video is on linear bearings and how to make them. This is the first video of my van conversion build. So if you want to follow along, please like and subscribe. Okay, as you can see, I actually don't have a van in the driveway. It's coming. So why am I doing a van build video now? Because I got to get started. Be ready when it does come. Okay, so I'm on the Granger site. Here's a linear bearing. Now the one I'm making is a flat one, not one of these L-shaped ones. Oops. So the price is around $125. I need four of them, so it would be... $500 plus tax. Okay, this is the bearing that I designed here, right here. And this is the one from Granger. If you take a look, there's a little bit of a size difference here. Uh, this is a lot more beef to it. And also my strut is larger than the ones that they're selling. Well, in comparison size, the one they're selling is uh, inch and a half, inch and a half. And this one's inch and three quarter, inch and three quarter. So I made four of these up and basically I saved $500 by doing so. And that's what it looks like. I didn't actually design it on here. I drew it up after I made them. And uh, I'll show you the piece of paper that I used to draw mine and design it from. As you can see, the SolidWorks drawings are a little bit more accurate than my hand sketches are. Okay, let's take a fast forward look at how I machined the plastic blocks. Basically, I took a piece of plastic to the saw, cut it down, machined it down to size, and then machined the groove inside of it, tapped some holes, and basically, that's our part. Okay, what is a linear bearing? Well, this here is a real linear bearing. It is a ball bearing that slides back and forth, and there's zero play in here. Absolutely nothing. Extremely high accuracy. This would not work well in a van because the van flexes and to get it set up you'd have to have it basically perfect across from each other and you're not going to get that in a van build so this is out of the question to use something similar to this and obviously you'd use a lot larger one some people are saying well ray why don't you just use drawer slides hey use drawer slides um they are not accurate and they are also very very weak so you don't want to use drawer slides for these this here is my solution here that I come up with. This is my linear bearing that I designed and built. It slides back and forth. Very, very accurate. Um, very, very strong. I'm surprised how smooth this actually works. The only thing that I would change here would be these three bolts here need to be countersunk and flatheads need to be put in here. Now my linear bearing is made up of six parts, three pieces of aluminum, and three bearing pads here. Now, I wouldn't even call this a linear bearing. I would call it a linear bushing because there's no rolling parts in this, but that's just me. So this fits on here like this. This piece fits on here, and that one would go on the bottom, and it rides in the rails here. Very nice, very smooth. The only thing I would probably do differently next time is instead of machining, these out of plastic, what I would end up doing is I would 3D print these. If there's enough interest, I will 3D print one and do a demo on it. I'm glad to see that you made it all the way to the end of the video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. The kinetic bed energy lift is going to be incredible if it works. To see how that turns out, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching the video. Much appreciated. If you could like and subscribe, that would be awesome. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face, and I'll do the rest. Thank you, and have a good night.